kia ora and here's another video going through how to model with trig functions. Um, this is question 52 from New Lake on air conditioning units. I'm going to go quite a bit faster than I did in question 51, so I uh, suggest that if you're having trouble you watch that video first. In this question we're looking at weekly sales of air conditioning units and we're told that they could be modelled by a sine curve. And we're looking at the weekly sales values in week 9 in week 35, hitting a maximum of 12,000 units. And in weeks 22 and weeks in week 48, the maximum will be 5,000 units. So what we're doing is forming a model that goes from the start of the year in week 0 to the end of the year in week 52. Now in this video I'm just going to do the part where we set up the equation. I'll save the solving equations part for later on. Okay, so we start by drawing our axes, and we're going to go from 0 out to 52. So we'll divide that up into roughly even bits. So that's about 10 weeks each part there. Um, we know the minimum and the maximum are 12,035 Sorry, 12,000 and 5,000. I don't know where I'm getting 35,000 from, but it seems to be stuck in my head. Let's try again. So 12,000 is the max, and 5,000 is the min. So we want to find the average of that first, and that's 8,500. That lets me put in a midline here at 8,500. And now I can plot my min and my max. So the first maximum is at week 9, and that's at 12,000. And the first minimum is in week. So we'll put on a 9 there. I'm not going to put the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 on here because it's just going to clutter up the graph way too much. But each of those markers there is 10 weeks. Okay, so 9 weeks is my first maximum. First minimum at 22, so we'll pop it in about here. Um, the next maximum is at week 35, so up about here, and the next minimum is week 48, so down near the end. Right, now the next useful thing to do before we start to write the equation is to figure out where's the point where it's going to cross through here, and it will be we've got 9 there and 22 there, halfway between those two. So 9 plus 22 over 2 is, let's see, 15.5 So that's worth marking on We can extend this back now So do it by drawing first Now remember, the really important thing to work out is where is this point That is what I call the zero point Because if you're thinking about your sine curve we need to figure out where does our transformed sine curve start from, if you can think about it as having a start. So we're looking for the zero point, and we know that from the max to the zero is 6.5 here, so 15.5 minus 9 is 6.5. So if I do that again on the other side of the maximum, I'll get my zero point here is 2.5. So that means that on the next slide I can write three out of the four stretch or shift factors. Okay, so let's have a look at what they're going to be while we're on this slide. Well, the vertical shift is 8,500. The amplitude, which is the distance from the midline to the top, is... 3,500 and my sine curve has been shifted along by 2.5 so these are three of the four numbers that have to go into the equation so we're going to have y is equal to a sine b x plus c plus d Remember though that that plus 
sometimes, and in our case, will be a minus because we are transforming our graph in this direction. Okay, so we're going to have y is equal to 3,500 sine something for the horizontal stretch factor x minus 2.5 plus 8,500. Now, what is that scale factor going to be? Well, our period here is 4 times 6.5. Right, so it takes 26 weeks for one complete cycle. Now, actually, that's really easy to see here because you're given to maxima. So you can see the difference between the maxima is 35 minus 9. So either of those ways will work. Okay, but, but in a normal basic sine curve, the period is 2 pi. So there's a link between those two for our scale factor. So our scale factor will be the normal period of a sine curve divided by our period in the sine curve, which is pi on 13. Right, And again, just have a look at it. What it's saying is that you've got a horizontal stretch factor, which is less than 1. And that's what we get when we get a much more spread out sine curve. So if the normal one is like this, then we're looking for one where the period is much bigger than 2 pi. Right, 2 pi is about 6, our period is 26. So that's looking good now. So we can finish off that equation at last. y equals 3.5 hmm. let's try and make that neat no we're making it worse let's there we go okay so y is equal to 3.5 here it comes sine pi on 13 x minus 2.5 plus 8.5. Now what I've done there is I've turned everything into thousands. So that's where x equals sales in thousands. I'm going to do the next slide showing you, if you didn't do that, what would be a correct version of the answers. Because it doesn't matter as long as you've defined it clearly. So if x is just sales, individual sales, that equation would be y equals 3,500 sine pi on 13 x minus 2,500 plus 8,500. So either of those are fine. Thanks for watching.